Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to define the density of a substance and to determine the density of a regular and an irregular shaped object. First, let us define what density is. Density is a measure of the mass of a substance per unit volume. Mathematically, we can express density as the following. Density equals mass of an object divided by volume of the same object. We have learned earlier that we measure the mass of an object in grams and the volume in milliliters or centimeter cube. Therefore, density is typically measured in the units of grams per milliliter or grams per centimeter cube. At a particular temperature and pressure, the density of a substance is its characteristic property. Therefore, chemists often use the density to identify an unknown substance. This table shows the densities of some common substances. For example, the density of ice at 0 degree Celsius is 0 0.92 grams per centimeter cube and water is 1.0 grams per centimeter cube. As you can see, the density of the metals is on the higher side. Iron, copper, lead, silver and gold, all of them have higher density values. Next, let us learn how to determine or measure the density of an object in a lab. Based on the mathematical formula that we discussed earlier, we need to know the mass of an object and the volume of an object in order to determine its density. So the first question is, how do we measure the mass of an object? We take the object and directly place it on a balance and measure the reading. Next. How do we measure the volume of an object? If the object is a regular or symmetrical shaped object, such as a cube or a cuboid or a sphere or a cylinder, we can use mathematical formulas to determine its volume. For example, if it is a cube, we can measure the length of the edge of the given cube with a particular scale and we use the following formula to calculate its volume. Volume of the cube is equal to L times L times L, where L is the length of the edge that we measured. Let us do an example problem. A 10.0 kilogram sphere made of an unknown substance has a radius of 5.0 centimeters. What is the density of this unknown substance in grams per centimeter cube? First, let us write down what is given. The mass of the sphere is given as 10.0 kilograms and it has three significant figures. The radius of the sphere is given as 5.0 centimeters and it has two significant figures. And we need to calculate the density of the sphere. According to the formula, we need the mass of the sphere and the volume of the sphere to determine its density. The mass of the sphere is already given to us and the volume of the sphere is not given. So let us calculate it first. The formula to calculate the volume of the sphere is v equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of the sphere and it is given as 5.0 centimeters and pi is a constant and its value is equal to 3.14 let us plug these two values into the formula v is equals to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 5.0 centimeter cubed. If we do the math, 
we get 523.33 centimeter cube. This is the volume of the sphere. Let us now look at the significant figures. Since the value of pi is a constant, it has infinite number of significant figures. The only measurement in this arithmetic calculation is the radius and it has only two significant figures. Therefore, the volume that we calculated should also have only two significant figures. However, I am not going to round this number yet. Instead, I will carry one or more extra digits after the last significant digit into the next step. And then I will round my final answer. In order to represent that this volume measurement has only two significant figures, I write the number 2SF next to the measurement. Next, let us calculate the density of the unknown substance. Density is equal to the mass of the sphere divided by the volume of the sphere. The mass of the sphere is given as 10.0 kilograms and the volume of the sphere we calculated as 523.33 centimeter cube. If you read the question properly, we need to calculate the density of the sphere in grams per centimeter cube. But we have the units here in kilograms per centimeter cube. So first, we need to convert the numerator from kilograms into grams. That is, we multiply it with a conversion factor that cancels out the kilograms in the numerator and introduces grams. And the conversion factor is 1000 grams per 1 kilogram. Kilogram and kilogram gets cancelled. And if we plug in all these numbers into the calculator, we get 19.10842 grams per centimeter cube. Now let us look at the significant figures. The mass measurement has three significant figures and the volume measurement has two significant figures. The conversion factor we used is a definition. That is, there are always 1000 grams in one kilogram. Therefore, both of these numbers are exact and have infinite number of significant figures. And since we are doing a multiplication, the answer is supposed to have the same number of significant figures as the measurement with the lowest number of significant figures. That is, the answer is supposed to have two significant figures. Therefore, the density of this unknown substance is 19 grams per centimeter cube. Let us do a follow-up problem. Compare the density of the unknown substance you calculated to the densities of common substances in the table provided earlier and guess the identity of the unknown substance. Pause the video here and try to answer this question. The density of the unknown substance we calculated is 19 grams per centimeter cube. If we look at the table, the substance with density that is close to this number is gold. Therefore, it is possible that the unknown substance that is given to us in the form of a sphere might be gold. In order to confirm its identity though, we need to perform few more tests. So, if you are in a lab, this is exactly how we determine the density of a regular or symmetrical shaped object and then use the density to possibly identify the substance. Now, what if the object is an irregular shaped one like a bolt or something? 
because of its irregular or unsymmetrical shape it is extremely difficult to use a mathematical formula to find the volume of this object so how can we determine the volume and then the density of such an irregularly shaped object in this slide we will find out how to determine the density of an irregular shaped object like a bolt the answer is simple we use a technique called as water or fluid displacement what you can do is take the bolt and drop it into water and because the density of bolt is greater than the density of water the bolt sinks to the bottom and displaces some water the volume of the bolt is exactly equal to the volume of the water displaced by the bolt and we can measure the volume of the water displaced by measuring the volume of water without the bolt and the volume of water with the bolt submerged in it then if we subtract the initial volume of the water from the final volume we get the volume of the water displaced which is exactly equal to the volume of the bolt that is submerged and once we know the volume of the bolt we can determine its density using the formula density is equal to mass of the bolt divided by the volume of the bolt mass of the bolt can be found out by placing the bolt directly on the balance and volume of the bolt by above method